So this is configurable beacon. So for simple peripheral example program, it operates in peripheral connectable mode. So it advertises and then we are able to connect to it. For micro Edistone beacon and simple broadcaster example program, it operates in broadcaster non-connectable mode. So when it power ups, it just advertises. So if you want, if you want to change values such as URL like this one, we are not able to. So Bluetooth beacon developers thought of this, and there's a need to be a way to transition from peripheral connectable mode to broadcaster non-connectable mode. Going back to github.com slash google slash edstone at edstone url so google collaborated with bluetooth mcu manufacturers to come up with the example example program for configurable bluetooth beacons so this one by texas instruments works for cc2640 and cc2650 it uses a uh, Bluetooth profile in which you can change values such as URL. So I ported this to work for CC2640 R2F, which is the simple Edstone beacon. So I'm going to discuss how this works, how it transitions from uh, peripheral connectable mode to broadcaster non-connectable non mode. So this is the simple Edistone beacon program. So this functions as a configurable Bluetooth beacon. So normally Bluetooth beacons does not have a button in which you can transition from peripheral connectable mode to broadcaster non-connectable mode. So review the code. So most of this code, the you can see uh, it's either same or similar to micro edstone. So this one, encode URL, update the TLM, init configuration, apply configuration, select frame, either UID, URL, or TLM. So this, C functions simple edstone beacon start regular advertising configures the Bluetooth beacon to broadcaster non connectable mode. This one simple edstone start config advertising configures the Bluetooth beacon to peripheral connectable mode. So once it initializes the this simple edstone beacon initializes it goes to okay goes to gap roll started and then calls the simple edition start config advertising let's go to here so if it's advertising non in non-connectable broadcaster mode, it, it disables it and then sets it to peripheral connectable mode. And then enables the advert the advertising here. Okay, so for example, you connect to it and then you in intentionally disconnect to it here, it will go to here. Or, for example, it's out of range, and then if it's out of range, it will go to here. So it will go to simple edition start regular advert advertising. So when you intentionally disconnect it, it goes to here, which will, if it's advertising, stop advertising. And then set it to broadcaster non collectable mode. If, for example, you did not connect to it, so for example, it's in 
um it's it's uh, advertising in peripheral connectable connectable mode and you did not connect to it it goes to this it starts the periodic lock which will Okay, which will go to here. So, so for example, you, you did not connect to it. It starts a periodic lock, and when it expires, after 30 seconds, it configures the Bluetooth beacon to broadcaster non connectable mode. So, this is the Bluetooth profile. So I'm going to rebuild this all and then flash the X file to CC2640 after flash. Okay, so I already flashed the X file and then I power up the launch pad. First, we are going to connect to it using light blue. Here it's advertising simple beacon. And you can so you can connect it. So you are I data. So it's currently apple.com. So I disconnect to it. It's disconnected. And then to test the okay, so this is a for testing the Ariston beacon. First we'll try the physical web. Okay, so it detects the URL apple.com and when you click this it goes to apple.com. Okay. And then we will try Beacon inside up. So for iBeacon, there's no app that you can download to test the iBeacon for simple broadcaster. So this app was made by Beacon Inside. So it only detects iBeacon that was made by Beacon Inside. For Edstone, however, for Edstone. So it detects the Edstone URL. It will also display the TLM. So let's yeah, you hear TLM. Okay. Okay. 